Did we just become best friends? I think maybe. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, uh, we're starting this off great. Congratulations on the film. It's so beautiful, brilliant. The chemistry between you all is phenomenal. And I know that that took some sleepovers and some wrestling and all of the things. All of the things. Okay. So all of the things. Yeah, I mean, we really got into the wrestling. I don't know if the other girls told you, but we there was no holding back. And when you see the fights in the movie, especially the one between Amy and Joe, it's like, it is on. So who is the toughest? It's more like who has good aim for throwing pillows, like who can move quick. It's like, oh, I don't know. I, think, I feel like Sasha's pretty good. Okay. Sasha's quite good. Sasha. Sasha said that you guys were telling a lot of filthy jokes and getting crazy, so who's the filthiest amongst you all? Uh, God, that's really hard. That's You're all really, filthy. really hard. Eliza is surprisingly filthy. She's kind of like dark horse, kind of quiet, you think, and then she like, you're like, wow, Eliza, okay, bringing it. I love that. On my team, on my show, it's called The Rundown. You know, we got a lot of uh, single ladies on our team, and they absolutely love the concept of being self-partnered, thanks to you. Did you know that you would start this entire revolution? No. I literally said it as a throwaway comment, thinking it would go no further. Uh, and then I woke up the next morning and I'm getting, like, my phone's blowing up and I don't know why. It's all my friends messaging me being like, self partnered, this thing's gone, like, crazy. Um, yeah, it's been, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy people feel empowered by my stressful moment. That's great. Will you forever be self-partnered, even if you do have an actual partner? 100%. For me, it's much more about your relationship with yourself and the feeling of you're not uh, somehow deficient in some way because yeah. you aren't with someone. You're like, I got this. I got myself. We don't need anyone. I have a little most likely game for you. Most likely to conveniently avoid the hardest parts of life. Amy. Most likely to take on a different persona for a night. Uh, 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 Sasha. Most likely to spend all the money that they have on fabric for a fire outfit. Florence. Most Maybe me. We might be tied there. Actually, you know, this is a lot of fabric. Right? There's a lot of fabric happening here. Most likely to get slapped on the wrist by their teacher. Sasha. And lastly, I gotta know, who were you surprised to find was the biggest Potter fan out of this cast? I feel like Eliza was quite quiet about it, but it might be Eliza. Yes. Yeah. She didn't want to tell you. Yeah. But really, she's dying over there. Or maybe Timothy. He was a closet major Potter fan. Yeah, maybe was. Timothy. He was intimidated to dance with you. Was there? Is there anyone that you're ever intimidated to work opposite? Oh, all the time. I was in a scene with Meryl Streep. It's very intimidating. Yeah. But she's warm and kind, and you forget about that quite quickly. But um, yeah, all the time. You're amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations. I can't even talk. I'm, I'm nervous being opposite of you. I'm sorry. Love you.